This was the first Prague Quadrennial to take place after the Velvet Revolution, which had freed Czechoslovakia from communism. For the 1991 exhibition, the PQ was temporarily moved to the Palace of Culture. Political changes in the Eastern Bloc brought other changes to the exposition. Israel exhibited for the first time. Artists from East and West Germany now exhibited together in a united German exposition and Czechoslovakia entered into the international competition for the Golden Triga, which Britain won this time for the second time with their solid and effective exhibition whose presentation was conceived as an aesthetic rubbish heap models in the space rising up out of the trash bin or industrial waste seem like independent artistic artifacts which at the same time resonated with the basic drama of the productions <laughs> For the first time, a woman was awarded the gold medal for sonography. Miriam Grotagensi from the Netherlands showed a great sense of beauty and space. From Israel's debut exhibition, Roni Torren received the silver medal for sonography. Scenographic creations by other Israeli designers were also very interesting and specific. France received another silver medal for sonography. Famed director Peter Brook exhibited documentation of the projects Mahabharata and The Tempest. No gold medal was awarded in the costume category. The traditionalist Italian Vera Marzot received the silver for her modest opera designs. Brazil presented carnival costumes in riotous colors. The idea for the Czechoslovak exposition, Streets in the Theaters, Theater in the Streets, rose out of the experiences of the Velvet Revolution. The monumental construction was reminiscent of the keel of a boat with its floor covered in faux tiles, hiding the models of sonographers in its bowels, as well as these surreal masks for alternative theater by Slovak designer Miloš Karasek. Dionysus Fotopoulos from Greece brought an entirely different type of scenography to the PQ, profiting from the antique dramatic tradition and antique sculpture as well. These Cyprian masks for Euripides' Phoenician women by Angelos Angeli were also a reminder of antique times. The Soviet Union also created an exhibition reflecting the political processes in the country. The sagging, tall cardboard buildings, typical for Stalinist Moscow, were also a replica of the scenography by Irina Akimova for the play Two People from the City. Germany's exhibition also focused on political events. <laughs> Tina Makonen of Finland created an impressive installation with otherworldly caves and hallways. The Norwegian exposition documented the work of Czech scenographer Lubos Hruza in Norway. Sweden's Lati Melanton created an interesting experimental project called the train of dreams. The Korean Republic presented a coordinated exhibit of masks and costumes based on traditional culture. Although exhibiting hypermodern projects, Japan did not neglect its national tradition in its exhibition. The theme for the thematic section for the seventh Prague Quadrennial was once again Mozart. Czech Jan von Chura received the gold medal for his precise and sensitive design for Mozart's operas. 
the United States of America received the same prize for their exhibition, which presented a modern conception of Mozart, which one could see in video records of Peter Sellers' production. Classical opera aesthetics are not foreign to Americans. Otherwise, the 1990s were a time of postmodern quotation. Germany also presented an untraditional view of Mozart's opera. Polish designer Andrzej Sadowski cast a spell with his costumes for the magic flute. Finnish sonographer Tina Makonen brought the audience into the fairy tale world of the same opera. Two expositions received gold medals for architecture, the French and the Greek. The schools that year exhibited in the underground garages of the Palace of Culture, which suited their non-traditional expressions. The Prague Academy of Fine Arts and Janáček's Academy for Performing Arts in Brno took a risk on imposing and funny installation. Polish student Dorota Moravitz presented a precisely drawn costume design. The schools showed great technical craft skill and artistic ability.